Hi, yep. so this is our last vid for our first lesson, which is really the last vid of the second lesson. Well, there you go. Right, so let's have a look at this then. So it says a small bag of mass 10 kilo is attached at C by two ends of a light, of two light strings. Right, two strings, two tensions. That's important. So two strings, two tensions. There. Uh, the other ends of the strings are attached to points A and B on a horizontal line. The bag hands in equilibrium, uh, inclined at 30 and 60 respectively. Right, so we know that the mg, so it weighs 10 kilos, so that's 10g acting down. So let's have a think about our forces then. There. So shall I call this tension here T1? And this tension T2. In the pack, we use T for A and TB. So, but I'm going to use T1 and T2. So, this one here will be a T1. It's next to the angle. So, it's cos 30. And this is T1 sine 30. Let's have a look at this one here. So, next to the angle, T2 cos 60. Opposite the angle, T2 sine. 60. Same idea. So let's look vertically. We did that last time first. So using F equals MA because it's an equilibrium, up minus down is zero. So let's see what have we got going up. We've got a T1 sine 30 going up, and we've got a T2 sine 60 going up. Minus going down, which is just a 10g, which is 10 lots of 9.8, that's equal to zero. So you can see you can kind of create um, like a little simultaneous equation there. So sine 30 t1, sine 60 t2 is equal to 98. So that's one equation I can use to solve. So then let's look horizontally. Ooh, can't spell horizontally. So let's look horizontal. So using F equals MA, so the resultant force, left minus right, or right minus left, it's up to you, whichever way you do it, is equal to zero. So what have we got going left then? So I've got T1 cos 30 going left. There's nothing else going left. Going right, I've got a T2 cos 60 is equal to zero. So I could do left minus right is zero. I could do right minus left is zero because you're just swapping it over. In the same way, I could do up minus down is zero or down minus up is zero. It's the same. Right, so similar idea to this. I could have a cos 30 lots of T1 minus cos 60 lots of T2 is equal to zero. And if I solve them simultaneously, so simul, it gives me T1 as 49 newtons to 2 sig fig. And really, you should put a better answer down if you can. And then put the rounded one. And T2 is 85 newtons to 2 sig fig. Remember the 2 sig fig is governed by the 9.8. The completed pack hasn't done it, and I'm rushing to do the videos, but normally you should really write down a better answer and then a rounded answer. And then that's it. Job done. See you later. Bye.